welcome back to Minnesota where it's winter and spring and summer all in one month. It's middle of March. I believe last week it was below 30 Fahrenheit. Um, two days ago it was 70 Fahrenheit. Today I think we got up to 50, mid 50s. Um, I th it snowed two weeks ago. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Trying very hard to not get excited and do things in the garden. Um, definitely not going to plant anything, but also not going to clean up yet because they say you need to wait till it's been over 50 for a, you know, couple week period. Um, I don't know if that counts if it's 50 and 70 and then 30 again and um, basically to you know all the bugs and things that make homes in your um, plants from last year so not cleaning up yet but also itching to do something I did start a few seeds inside which are going not great the ones I started were um, questionable at best um, the saved lufa seeds 100% germination. The stratified cone flowers, I think one, maybe two are coming up. The non stratified cone flowers, I think one is coming up. They're so, so tiny. So I don't know how well they're going to do. Um, one rosemary. I haven't seen any birdhouse gourds, but the seeds I put in for those mostly were save seeds that I'm not sure were mature. But actually, it's kind of look like this where they're really white um, and they're usually kind of a more brownish. So I'm not, I'm not certain that those are gonna do anything. Anyway, so my first tray was definitely just throw it in and see what happens. But so far, not a lot is happening. So I thought I would come out here and work on these bottle gourds. Um, so these, I, and I really did not want to pick them until they were as dry as humanly possible on the vine. But as we know, um, it freezes here. And so I didn't want them to get mushy. So I did pick them before the first frost and I put them inside. And there was quite a bit of time in between the first frost and when it like stayed frozen. So it was fairly warm after that in the shed and I had them up on... Um, I had them in the big shed for a while where I dry my garlic. I put them in the little shed after a while. I had them on a grate so that they would get air. They still were very green and, you know, medium heavy, I guess. Like this, this big guy, it's pretty heavy. Um, and they did freeze over the winter, but I think they were to the point where they were hard enough, dry enough. Um, even though they were still green, they at least had lost enough moisture that they did not wrinkle. This guy did this weird thing, but I don't know that that one was necessarily, that one was already dried out anyway. Um, so I moved them in here because as you can see, mold, a lot of, a lot of mold. So I'm going to try and scrub some of that off from what I read. It's not a big deal. Scrub it off and you're good to go. Some of these are ones I had from the previous year and I just haven't done anything with them yet. This is one of this year's extra fuzzy. Um, and what happened with these guys, as you can see this one, it froze while it was still quite a bit green and then it got mushy and turned into a blob. Uh, so there's only a couple of these that worked out that I can use. Um, but last year's I think went a lot better. And these did mold too but I think eventually it just kind of goes away. So I might start with these and scrub them up. I think maybe if the green scrubby doesn't work, I'll get some sandpaper, but that is what I'm gonna do as a sort of something to work on project um, to keep myself from doing too much outside. So yeah, that's what's going on in here.
Well, I've got the, most of the fuzzy mold off, even the really bad one. Um, some of these still have quite a bit of, like this one, I think it might have some moisture left in it, so I'm gonna leave them out here. I think ideally you really should let them dry out for probably a year before doing anything with them, but some of them I can tell are definitely dry. But I'm curious if these are gonna get bleached in the sun the longer they dry. Um, Cause you can tell like, look how much difference. These didn't get quite as much mold on them, but they definitely are a different color. Um, like you can tell where there was a mold spot there. So I am interested in seeing if these change color at all, or if they're gonna keep this sort of pattern because some of these will be kind of interesting once they are cleaned up a little more and sealed. So I'm probably what I'm gonna do with some of these kind of not great ones is practice. Um, seeing what kind of drill bit is gonna cut through those the best and may, you know, see what kind of sealant and whatnot is gonna be the right answer for birdhouse gourds, or, you know, birdhouses, sorry. I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate them or just seal them as is, or cut them into a birdhouse and then sell them. People could decorate their own and seal their own. I'll probably sell them at the farmer's market at some point. I'll definitely keep, keep one. But that is the birdhouse gourds, kind of fun. See if I can grow a few more this year, maybe. I have a tendency to grow long-term, semi-useless things like loofahs that take forever, and then they have to dry before you can ever do anything with them, similar to, to these. But what can you do? So I don't know that there's anything else I can do in here today with these, but getting those cleaned up was something that was on my list for a while that I wanted to get done. <laughs>